okay so addition property of equality is just the opposite of what we did for subtraction property of equality so let's write an example let write an example a okay uh, z minus 11 equals to negative 3 let's do that okay so i'm gonna write my bridge i always like doing the bridge first i told you you go to the side with the letter or the side with the variable since this is negative the opposite of negative is plus if i plus on the left i have to plus on the right because it says i have to do equality whatever i do to someone on the left i have to do to this the same thing to the person on the right okay I right. then i draw This is additive inverse. It becomes 0. Z equals negative 3 plus 11. That will be uh, positive 8. Make sure you draw 3 negatives and 11 positives. And you circle and you get your answer. Now let us check. So we are checking our work. When we check, we say Z, you write the equation, Z minus 11 equals negative 3. Z is 8. 8 minus 11 equals negative 3. 8 minus 11, negative 3 equals negative 3, and you check. Okay? All right. So that is one example. Let's find another example. Um, okay, let's do another example. Example B. We can do um, negative 8 is equal to R minus 7. Okay. How we do this? We draw our bridge. Remember, your bridge goes in the middle of your, where the equal sign. So you remember that at the end of your bridge, there should be an equal sign. All right? So this is the side we start with because this is the side with the letter and the and a number. This is minus, so it becomes positive. I'm doing additive, um, addition property of equality. And then this becomes zero because of additive inverse and then i do this negative eight plus seven is negative one negative one equals r and this is my box and then i do the check and i do negative eight equals r minus seven Negative 8 equals negative 1 minus 7. Negative 8 equals negative 8. 1 negative and 7 negatives. If I count them all together, I should get 8 negatives. And there is my answer. Okay? All right. So we've done numerical. Uh, so we have to do a word problem. Okay? So I'm going to do D for you what is expected and then you will do the other ones by yourself so you'll be given a word problem you'll be expected to know how to read and to write the correct and to write the correct equation so step one you need to pick a letter for your variable so i am going to pick a it doesn't matter you pick whatever you want a is my variable i have to say let a represent let a represent whatever the question told me let a represent the lowest recorded temperature because the top question told me i have to answer this find find the lowest recorded temperature so let a represent the lowest recorded temperature 
Remember, there was a lesson, I think it was lesson two. It told you define the variable. So this is us defining the variable. Defining the variable is saying what that letter you chose is going to represent. Okay? Now, I'm reading. The highest recorded temperature in Warsaw, Missouri, is 48 degrees Celsius. So I will start with that. 48 degrees. So this is the answer. I need to find out how they got this answer. Now, this is 70 greater, 70 degrees greater. I saw the word greater, I'm going to add 70 degrees greater. Because they said greater than, yes? So greater than, you have to add. Less than, you subtract. It is greater than the city's lowest recorded temperature. And the city's re lowest recorded temperature is A, so I will add A. This is me writing the equation. Then I need to solve. So then I will solve my equation. I will write 48 equals to 70 plus A. I will remember my barrier. Don't write A like 9. Write A like A. Then I will subtract 70 on both sides. I will do subtraction property of equality. I should have done that in a different color. When you're doing the opposite, I want you to use a different color. Okay. And then a box, my like terms. This should be 22, negative. Negative 22 equals to A, degrees. These are degrees because the question talked about degrees. And then you write your answer in a sentence. The lowest recorded temperature. But before that, you should check. The lowest recorded temperature. is negative 22 degrees Celsius. Let's check our work. 48 equals to 70 plus A. 48 equals to 70 plus negative 40. Negative 22. This becomes minus. 48 equals to 70 minus 22, 48 equals to 48. And there, I have checked my work. Okay? And that's how you do this, uh, how you do this lesson. So when the question tells you, when the question tells you less than, you will minus, you see? When the question says greater than, you will add. So write that in your book so that you don't forget words, operation. I see greater than, I will add. I see less than, I will subtract. So everything I have taught you, or we have discussed here, you need to know for you to be successful in this chapter, okay? So don't forget, we will do, do these examples, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H, and then we'll look at them tomorrow when I see you in class.